Hello Hawks sports fans, it's sports time. We kick off sports this month with a special report on our Lady Hawks volleyball team who have captured another district title and another awesome 30 win season. For more on our Lady Hawks, we go to our sports dynamic duo Trey Curry and Zach Toombs who are standing by at the gym. Guys? Thanks Curtis. Zach will join me shortly as we are here on the home court of our Lady Hawks who have made a statement in the first half of the district taking every match 3-0 with the exception of a three games to one win over the Lady Panthers of Midlothian. The Lady Hawks, after playing a tough non-district schedule, seemed ready to go as they kicked off district action, sweeping Arlington Seguin, Waxahachie, Ennis, Lancaster, and Corsicana before winning a hard-fought match against the Lady Panthers of Midlothian in Midlothian on September 26th. After cruising in most of the matches, the ladies knew Midlothian would be a much tougher opponent on their home floor. The Lady Hawks got a quick wake-up call as they dropped the opening game 23-25 before rebounding with a 25-18, 25-22, and 25-15 win in the next three games to take the match. In the match against Midlothian, Brittany Person had 18 kills and 3 blocks, Dana Hilsendagger posted 13 kills, and setter Taylor Van Hove had 35 assists. The Lady Hawks ended the first round with a perfect 6-0 mark in district and a season record of 23-8. Our Lady Hawks would set their sights on another district title and would work to keep their unbeaten district record in check for the second half. Arlington Seguin would not put up much of a fight, but the battle of the year was coming with the Lady Indians of Waxahachie who had taken down a tough Midlothian team in the first round. Our ladies were pushed to the brink as the Lady Hawks won game one, lost game two, won game three, lost game four before taking the fifth and final game to win the match three games to two. The ladies would then take down Ennis, Lancaster, and Corsicana before taking on the third place team in district, the Lady Panthers of Midlothian before a packed crowd. The ladies would make a statement letting all of District 15-4A know and those teams in the area that our Lady Hawks have big plans for the playoffs as they ended the district with a 12-0 record. In the straight set, 25-18, 25-19, 25-6. The Lady Hawks notched the 15-4A title and are scheduled to play a warm-up match against the number one ranked 3A team in the state, the Ladies of China Springs, after press time before they set their eyes on playoffs. The Lady Hawks have now moved up to the number two ranking 4A in the Dallas Morning News polls after they placed themselves into the top 10 in the state going into the playoffs. For more on the look ahead for the Lady Hawks, I'll pass it over to Zach to see what the playoff picture looks like for our Lady Hawks in November. Thanks, Trey. Playoff time for volleyball is in the air, and with one of the toughest regions in the state in volleyball, the road to Austin will once again be tough for our Lady Hawks. But you can bet Coach Stanfield and the ladies will be ready for all who try to get in their way. The Lady Hawks, who finished with a district record of 12 wins and zero losses, will open playoffs in the Region 2 bracket against the winner of the second place team from District 14-4A, which could be South Oak Cliff, Kimball, or Seagoville, who are all battling at press time for the three playoff spots. The second place team from this district will take on the third place finisher from District 13-4A, which is made up of unranked Dallas ISD schools. The UIL webpage shows the Lady Hawks will take on the winner of the match on either October 30 or 31st in the area round. Should the ladies advance past area, they would hit the regional quarterfinals round sometime between November 2nd through the 4th. While the playoff picture will become much clearer after press time, we can tell you that Region 2 is well represented in the state polls with six of the top 20 ranked teams all battling to be the Region 2 representative in the state championships that will kick off November 16th through 18th. Curtis, we hope by the time our show airs, our Lady Hawks will be making some noise in the 4A playoffs once again. But for now, I'm Zach Toons. I'm Trey Curry. Go Lady Hawks. And back to you, Curtis, in the studio.